हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ट्वेल्थ न्यू सिलेबस 2020 केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर नंबर वन सॉलिड स्टेट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पर यूनिट सेल इन केस ऑफ सिंपल क्यूबिक बॉडी सेंटर्ड क्यूबिक एंड आल्सो वी हैव सीन 14 ब्राविस लैटिसेस एंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ऑल्सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन मोलार मास डेंसिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस एंड यूनिट सेल एज लेंथ फॉर दैट वी मस्ट नो द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूनिट सेल इन विच ऑल द एजेस आर सिमिलर इन केस ऑफ सिंपल यूनिट क्यूबिक सेल बॉडी सेंटर्ड क्यूबिक सेल एंड फेस सेंटर्ड क्यूबिक सेल एंड हेन्स वी कैन राइट ए क्यूब एज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ यूनिट सेल बिकॉज द एज लेंथ ऑफ यूनिट सेल इज ए एंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ यूनिट सेल इज ए क्यूब सपोज दैट दैट यूनिट सेल कंटेन्स एन पार्टिकल्स एंड ईच पार्टिकल हैव एम इज द मास ऑफ ईच पार्टिकल एंड नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स आर एन वी कैन राइट द डेंसिटी ऑफ दैट क्रिस्टलाइन सब्सटेंस दैट इज यूनिट सेल इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू एन डिवाइडेड बाय ए क्यूब वेर एम इज द मास ऑफ पर वन पार्टिकल and n is the number of particles present in that unit cell and a cube is the volume of unit cell because rho or d density is represented by rho or d and it is equal to mass of unit cell and it is divided by volume of unit cell mass is equal to mass of one one atom or one molecule or one particle and n is the number of particles and a cube is the volume of that unit cell and it is equal to density of the substance if we consider this equation as a equation number 1 and also we have know the relationship between molar mass and mass of one particle molar mass is equal to mass of one particle into number of particles per mole and we know there are 6.022 Into 10 raised to 23 molecules are present in one mole of a substance, and hence m is equal to small m, that is the mass of one particle, and n a it is also known as Avogadro number. And in case of Avogadro number, there are 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules, and therefore we can also write like this: mass of one particle is equal to molar mass. upon avogadro number that means mass of one particle is equal to molar mass or atomic mass of a element divided by number of atoms present in one mole of a substance that means avogadro number this relation we have already studied in 11th standard and hence we can write rho is equal to n into m Divided by a cube into n a, we will put the value of m in this equation. N upon a cube already it is n upon a cube, and m is equal to capital M divided by n a that is Avogadro number. And this equation is very very important because number of problems are asked on this equation. Rho is the density, n is the number of atoms ions or molecules or constituent particles present in unit cell m is the molar mass or atomic mass of the substance a cube is the volume of unit cell and na is the avogadro number and it is a constant 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 and here we have to remember density is represented by rho or d, d small d is used also and n that is the number of particles which are present in unit cell it ki it can also be represented by z hence another formula we can write d is equal to z into capital m a cube into na on the basis of this we can solve the problems before that we have to remember age length a and volume of unit cell as a cube then mass of one particle is a small m and number of particles present in unit cell are small n by using this we can write the formula of 
density mass of unit cell divided by volume of unit cell and put this value of m is equal to capital m upon na by using mole triangle we have already seen the relation put this value in this equation number one we you will get rho is equal to small n that is number of particles which are present in that unit cell m is the molar mass or atomic mass of element a cube is the volume of unit cell and na it is the Avogadro number based on this we can solve the problems when gold crystallizes it forms face centered cubic cell the unit cell edge length is 408 picometer calculate the density of gold molar mass of gold is 197 grams per mole here the term molar mass is used but the gold is element hence uh, atomic mass must be used here solution we can write the formula and for this formula there is one mark mass molar mass into number of particles which are present in that unit cell a cube it is the volume of unit cell and na is the Avogadro number what are given here we have to first remember it is a face centered cubic cell hence the value of n we have to calculate that means number of atoms per unit cell in case of FCC first we have to calculate and number of atoms per unit cell of FCC these are total 4 because in the FCC crystal lattice the corner there are atoms at corner and center of each face and like this the calculation is 1 8 into 8 because the contribution of particles which are present at the corner is 1 8 and such type of 8 particles are present hence 1 8 into 8 is equal to 1 plus there are 6 atoms or ions or molecules here gold is there hence atoms are present at the center of each face and the contribution of these uh, atoms is one half to that unit cell hence one half into six that is three one plus three four particles are present in case of FCC structure hence here n is equal to four m it is already given molar mass of gold it is 197 gram per mole a cube edge length it is given 408 picometer but we have to convert into centimeter like this hence what is given we have to first write m is equal to 197 gram per mole n is equal to 4 already we have calculated this atoms for FCC it is necessary to calculate and this for this equation one mark for the calculation of number of atoms half mark and a is equal to 408 picometer picometer means 10 raised to minus 12 meter hence convert this into first meter and then into centimeter I have directly represented here 4.08 into 10 raised to minus 8 centimeter or picometer is converted into centimeter first meter and then centimeter and now we can try put the values of this rho is equal to 197 gram per mole into 4 atom that is n is equal to 4 and a cube 4.08 into 10 raised to minus 8 bracket raised to 3 centimeter cube into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 you can do the calculation and the answer is 19.27 gram per centimeter cube and here it is necessary to write the unit of density and it is gram per centimeter cube for the correct answer and for the correct unit we will get one mark one mark for this formula half mark to this and half mark to put the values and one mark to the answer with correct unit now we will see the example and we can convert it into kilograms per meter cube also and we will see the example which was asked in the March 2020 for three marks this is the question from HSC board exam 2020 unit cell of metal has edge length of 288 picometer and density of 7.86 gram per centimeter cube 
determine the type of crystal lattice atomic mass of metal is equal to 56 gram per mole and this question is for three marks first of all what is given we have to mention what is given here 288 picometer is the a that is age length we have to convert it into centimeter that is a 2.88 into 10 raise to minus 8 centimeter you can directly convert like this picometer into centimeter and also density is given 7.86 gram per centimeter cube we can use a d or a rho m is equal to 56 gram per mole hence in the formula if we write the formula and before that what is asked the z is asked because uh, we have to we cannot determine the type of crystal lattice until we know the z that is number of particles per unit cell if number of particles per unit cell is one it is simple cubic if number of particles per unit cell are two it is a bcc body centered and if number of particles are equal to four it is FCC structure, face centered cubic structure. Hence, we have to determine the number of particles. We have to calculate Z value and then we can determine the type of crystal lattice. Hence, write the formula D is equal to Z into M, A cube into NA. We know D, M, A cube and NA. And we will uh, get one mark for this. Hence, we will put the values 7.86 is the density here z as it is into 56 that is the atomic mass of the element which is given as metal and a is the 2.88 into 10 raise to minus 8 cube into 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 then half mark which is uh, i have already mentioned that half mark is for the putting the values and doing the calculations and uh, here uh, I have calculated like rearranged first Z is equal to 7.86 into 2.88 into 10 raise to minus 8 raise to 3 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 upon 56 7.86 into here very uh, carefully observed 23.88 into 10 raise to minus 24 and it is the cube of 2.88 into 10 raise to minus 8 raise to 3 that means the cube of 2.88 into 10 raise to minus 8 we have written here you can um, observe the log table and cube also and into 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 as it is divided by 56 if we do the simple calculation 10 raise to 9 minus 24 10 raise to 23 and uh, here point to the left side 2.388 into 6.022 upon 56 now we have to use log table because in the examination you are not allowed to use calculator then how to see the logs first uh, we will see log of 7.8 from the log table you can see the log of 78 and it is 8964 and hence the characteristic it is a 0 because it is having one digit 7.8 it is also having characteristic 0 and uh, you have to see the log of 23 in 8 and 8 and also 60 of 2 and 2 0 0.7797 if we add these logs you will get 2.0541 from that log of 56 that is 1.7482 because it is two digit number hence 1.7482 and when you subtract this value you will get 0 0.3059 and take anti log of this you will get 2.018 as the answer and it is necessary to write the log also to the right side if we get the answer as a 2.018 that means number of atoms is equal to 2 hence number of atoms in unit cell is equal to 2 it has a bcc crystal lattice already we have mentioned uh, depending upon number of atoms we can identify the structure that means these are this is the question of uh, march 2020 it is a very very important relationship between density, atomic mass, number of particles, volume of unit cell and Avogadro number.
hence they write this formula remember it and problems are very very easy to solve you will get three marks in very short writing and hence some peers, some students think that examples are very difficult they omit the examples they focus on the theory but i request them to remember the formula put the values you will get answer and hence uh, i am giving an example which is uh, asked in cbsc pmt may 2008 and you have to solve this problem if you are unable to solve i will give you its answer in our next video copper metal crystallizes in fcc face centered cubic lattice which cell h a is equal to 368.6 picometer what is the density of copper crystal atomic mass of copper is given 63.5 atomic mass unit na that is the order number 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 atoms and you have to use that formula and calculate the density of copper thank you